Oh, wow. Good morning, family. Good afternoon. Good evening to you, whatever side of the diaspora that you are on. Let me welcome you to the mental house. Um, and I got this breaking news, y'all. Um, Andre Broward. I love this guy. Serious. I used to love him from Homicide Life on the Streets. In Los Angeles today, Brooklyn Nine actor Andre Brower has died after a brief illness. A representative said he was 61. Details about the illness were not available. Representative Jennifer Allen confirmed the news, saying that Brower died Monday. His two best-known roles were police officers. Brower earned an Emmy for his depiction of police detective Frank Pimbleton on the series Homicide, Life on the Streets. I know y'all remember him, the guy with the big, bold voice. Um, he came to be known to a new generation of TV viewers in 2013 as a deadpan police captain on Brooklyn Nine-Nine. He was uh, nominated for an Emmy Award 11 times and won twice, including for Outstanding Lead Actor of a Miniseries or a Movie in 2006 for his role as Nick Atwater in the FX Network production of Thief. His Outstanding Lead Actor in a Dramatic Series Award came in 1998 for the, his portrayal of Pimbleton. Brower also had roles on Law and Order SVU and other series dramas and films, including the Tuskegee Airmen in 20, uh, uh, 2020-21. He portrayed the Ben Gideon on the ABC's drama Gideon's Crossing. His decades-long acting screen stretched from glory to 1989 to men of a certain age and 29 through 11 to the career twist comedy of Brooklyn Nine-Nine. Damn, Andre. On that show, he portrayed Captain Ray Holt, a sounding board for one-liners from wisecracking detective Jake Peralta, and by the show producer and comedian Andy Samberg. The show went from Fox Television when it started in 2013 to the NBC Network in 2018. Um, wow. That's what I was telling y'all about Fox Network. Fox Network used to have all the black shows. And once we big, they station up. This was just like how they do black folks. Once we build that channel, that network up, they kicked us off of there, kicked the shows off of there, and replaced it with who? Hannity, um, you know, the little Swanson boy. It just completely did a 360. Marlon Wayans and them used to come on Fox Network. Martin and them used to come on Fox Network. It just amazes to me how they, when they get done using us, they spit us out and flip the script. Once we build them up, then they, they took their platform and turned it into a white supremacist network. It's weird. Brower was from Chicago down the road and went to Stanford University as an undergraduate before earning a master's degree in fine arts from the Juilliard School, according to Emmy's biography. He began his TV career as a sidekick to the to character Kojak, played by the late Telly Savalas in a number of made-for-television movies. Based on the New York City detective, the Emmy bio states. Now, though it was his role as Pimbleton that made Brower a widely seen talent, he also worked the stage and even directed and debuted 
behind the camera in 1999. One of the um, episodes was the Showtime trilogy of love songs, according to the Emmys. Brower was also honored with the uh, Obie Awards for his New York City stage work in Henry uh, the Fifth and Whipping Man. According to IMBD, uh, Brower is survived by his wife, Amy Branson, also an actor on the, the actor on Homicide Life on the Street had three sons. Wow, this article came um, from NBC and um, Western Power Brothers. You made us proud. You made us proud. What see you? What were some of y'all best roles with Andre? Leave your comment below. And if you like what you hear, subscribe and share the channel. And we'll see you in the next video.